Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday, May the 2nd, 2023. Yesterday, my baby boy turned seven years old. I cannot believe that I'm a mother of a seven-year-old. Do you hear that cardinal? There's cardinal outside. Anyways, <laughs> um, and also my birthday is this Sunday. So I'm excited. I'll be 33. <laughs> and also got a haircut. It's layered. I don't know if you can tell. And they also thinned it out big time. Like my ponytail is so small now. <laughs> but you should have seen the floor when they, um, it's been in a ponytail, so that's why it's got that weird bubble to it. Um, when they get done, when they got done cutting, I cut off about eight inches and, um, she thinned it all out. So it was like, it looked like a dog was laying on the floor. <laughs> it was crazy. But anyways, it feels like I'm bald now. I feel like I don't have any hair on my head. <laughs> but, um, anyways, I'm blabbing. I wanted to come on here and share with you guys. My finished projects, I finished my little Halloween amateurs. They're kind of goofy looking. Okay, don't make fun of my embroidered faces. I'm not that good at embroidering faces. I'm trying to get better at it, but it's it's going to take some time to get good at that skill. I'm going to lay my needle right here on this thing because I don't want to lose it. It's a real sharp one and I like it for weaving it ends. And also, I finished my bee um, garden flag. So now I'm going to have Devin help me put it outside with that stake thingy. Because I can't push it in the ground. I'll have to have him do it. Anyways, don't laugh at my bats, okay? They are goofy looking. But they're just for the kids in the neighborhood. And kids, you know, like stuff even when they're goofy looking. So don't judge my bats. <laughs> this is a free um, Ravelry download. I'll link it below. I can't remember off the top of my head who it's by. I should have brought my notes. But I'm trying to record while the kids are sleeping still. It is morning. But um, it may be evening before I get this out. Here's one bat. Oh, Lord. Look at his face. It's so goofy looking. It's called Marsh Bat. Like Marshmallow, but it's Marsh Bat. And uh, it is a free little tutorial. Mine looks crazy. I don't like mine at all. I think they turn out goofy. And then this one I did French Knots for his eyes. Still, still wasn't good. <laughs> I don't know. I just think they look stupid. And then this one. This one looks mad. <laughs> but whatever i got a bag up here i've been putting all these little emigrants in i'm gonna chuck them in there and then on halloween i'm gonna lay them out on our stoop and if kids want them they can have them if they don't i'll donate them or something <laughs> i just think they're goofy looking little bats they look all um, kind of i don't know they look i did really bad i sewed the pieces on bad i guess i was having a bad day because <laughs> they look terrible but that's okay that's okay we're just gonna put them over there and not worry about it we're gonna work on maze projects soon all right now my b flag is a paid for pattern by heidi gates which i love and if you go if you're a member of facebook i know a lot of people aren't but if you are uh she has a facebook group on there she has two one is like a public one and one is a private one the private one i think is called like snappy top friends or friends with snappy top or something like that snappy friends something like that i'll try to link it below um she her birthday is in may as well and so she every year she does like a may celebration and right now she's um, if you go to her, well, actually, I think you can go to her website too. I'll link her website too, to the post about it. And then when you go to it, if you scroll down a little bit and read it, there's a coupon code where you can get it and take it to her Ravelry shop. Um, she used to have a regular shop too, but it didn't get as much sales as the Ravelry one. So she condensed them. Anyways, go to her Ravelry shop and you can type in that code on any prod on any pattern of hers that is $4 or less and get it for free. I think you can also use it on ones that are more than that, but it'll only take $4 off. Uh, the, I think the most expensive pattern she has is $5, so I'm pretty sure you can do that and just pay a dollar. But anyways, I got a, um, what did I get? I got a, a, a uh, project bag, kind of like her limited edition one that I have somewhere, but it's, it looks like bugs. It looks like a bee and one looks like a, um, a ladybug. I thought it was cute. Anyways, all that to say, this is my garden flag. It's finally finished. I can't remember, how sh I haven't showed it to you completely finished, but it's 100% finished now. <laughs> So I did do the antennas and the hearts. So he is all done to be hung outside. And uh, I'm hoping that the neighborhood kids leave him alone. I don't live, we don't live in the ghetto because, you know, I don't know if we have one of those here. <laughs> but um, we do live in a part of my town that is, well, I have a P.O. box because I don't trust leaving packages outside. So I'm hoping that this, We'll be fine out there <laughs> because, and it's usually the neighborhood kids that are, you know, because a lot of the, we live in a big comp, um, complex, apartment complex. Um, 
So those kids usually run all over the place and there's usually no parents watching those kids, which is really annoying. And it, parano it makes me paranoid, you know, like when I'm, when we're outside, we watch other people's kids uh, because no one else is out there watching them, you know. Um, so, you know, kids will be kids, I guess, and they do things that they're not supposed to do. But um, especially kids that are unparented. But anyways, I'm hoping that they don't steal my flag is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but if they do, I can just make another one. <laughs> but um, I think it's cute. I used all red heart yarn, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because the bee is black and bright yellow, white, light blue, I think it is, uh, spring green. This right here is pale yellow, and then more white. So it's all red heart. <laughs> I love red heart. Uh, I got a comment the other day talking about that, about how a lot of channels, you only use like fancy yarns, and that they, you know, like they could relate because I don't use fancy yarns, and that's because if I used fancy yarns, I'd never be able to make anything because I don't have enough, I don't have fancy yarn money. <laughs> I have acrylic yarn money. And to be honest, all of this was gifted to me from some of you guys. And um, sales. I always shop sales. I'm still got ridiculous amount of off-white from Red Heart from that 64 cent sale at time at Walmart. Anyways, I love this flag. I think it's cute. This will be the first one that I've made that I'll hang outside. All the other ones I hang inside. And I'm pretty sure the sun would damage it, you know. And the elements, you know. So I'm going to try to get Devin to stick it in a spot that's kind of, that says shady. Because I don't want it to get all sun- Bleached, is that what it's called? <laughs> like right away. I want to last. This is just going to be my springy one. I realize summer's almost here. <laughs> At least in Tennessee, summer starts Memorial Day weekend. Um, and then there's a, a summer one that I want to make that's a watermelon. I think it's got a bird on it. I think it's got a crow on it. It's like a watermelon and a crow, I think. Um, for the summertime. <laughs> but I still think it's cute. And um, I don't know. If it starts looking faded, I might just put it on our back porch. Because it's it stays more shady or shadier <laughs> back here but um i think it's cute i love these little flag patterns she has so many of them for every year like holiday and she's got football ones for uh the super bowl <laughs> and um birthday ones which i think is cool just all kinds of them and uh i have a lot of them <laughs> i have most of them actually when i was looking for the free pattern that i wanted i was scrolling looking she had one um that I hadn't seen. I guess I skipped, missed it, and it was a big old frog, and I thought that was so cute. So uh, it was five dollars though. So I just went ahead and added it to my wish list, um, and I'll get that eventually. But I just love them. And this actual this pattern right here, it's five dollars, and it comes with the bee and the ladybug one that I've made in the past, and I hang it up around Valentine's Day. And then also it comes with the pattern to make the bee and the ladybug into pillows. So technically four patterns in one. But I love it, and I can't wait to hang it up. I also went to the Dollar Tree. I thought I had some of these, but I must have got rid of them or something. And I bought two of these to put out also <laughs> with them. I got the rainbow ones because they were prettier than the purple and pink one. But uh, they just spin in the wind. And uh, I picked up a cheap pair of gardening gloves because we have like a little we have a little walkway and then like a little gravel pit, which is where I put all my decorations for Halloween and stuff. Um, and there's a bunch of weeds in there. So I wanted to get some gloves so I could pull all those weeds and then put these down. And try to keep it looking nice. Because even though we don't own this apartment, I still like it to look homey, you know. So, I just got those little cheap gloves. And I thought they were cute. I got the pink ones. Because I love pink. These are actually, these are from uh, Dollar General, I think. They were a dollar. And then the other thing, the other two things were from Dollar Tree. But, yes. Anyways, that was what I worked on. I finished my little thing. And to be honest, I just hot glued two of the ends. They were too short for me to weave in. Because I do that sometimes. And I just hot glued. Because that's going to be a part facing the apartment. No one's going to no one's gonna care about that. <laughs> and these goofy little bats. I don't know why they turned out so goofy. It doesn't help that they're curling. Their little wings curl. But I'm not I'm not going to block these. That's not happening. They're just going to be something that kids play around with. Maybe. <laughs> if they want them. They can play with them. If not, I'm sure Jesse will take them. Because he loves everything that I make. And he plays with everything. But um, I wish, like in retrospect, I should have put safety eyes on these. I was thinking, I'm trying not to put safety eyes on the emigrants I'm leaving out for Halloween because I don't know who's getting them. You know, I don't know what age kids are getting them. So I've been trying to just do the embroidery faces and I'm not that good at it. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. The French knots look the best, I think. But this one looks happy and this one just kind of looks mean. <laughs> but oh well, they'll go in the basket up there and uh, hopefully kids will like them. <laughs> so I haven't really been up to much else. I got, uh, what's in here? I can't even remember what's in here. 
Oh yeah, these are those bags. I gotta weave in the ends to them. I need to pull them out. I gotta weave in the ends to those. I gotta do that. I got a project, another Stitch Your Stash project. Um, get all the stuff out of this bag. Picked out. I just haven't started it yet. And then this is my flowers. I was making those. There's some in here, I think. Yeah, just these ones. I weave in their ends too, so I'll pile them up here too. So I'll never do that. And I'll just leave this bag. It's just got some random yarn balls in it. To make more of those flowers with because i like making those flowers then it's good to like grab and take with me and then i pulled out a bunch of fabric from my stash <laughs> i'm gonna be making some tote bags in the next few weeks it's gonna be a while i haven't even started yet and notion pouches it's gonna be tote bags and notion pouches so this is the fabric right here that i pulled out for notion pouches i just pulled out all the pow the pieces that were smaller so i'm just gonna make some notion pouches out of all of these pieces and uh, tote bags out of these ones. Probably not all of those because I don't want to make a million tote bags. I'll probably make, I don't know, 10 or 15 tote bags and then however many nausea pouches I cut out. I got two of that, um, the cats on the beach cut out from where I made the giveaway winter one. So I got two of those that'll be in the shop, but it's going to be a couple weeks. <laughs> I'm not rushing it at all. I've been trying to not sew as much because it just takes up so much time that I'd rather spend, you know, with my family. But, yeah, so, if you see back here, I got some laundry and stuff that I gotta put away. I got a load in the dryer I gotta deal with. And these are cushions to our patio furniture. We brought them in because it's supposed to be real windy today, so they're just piled up over there. So I don't want to have to go chasing them through the field, <laughs> um, which I've had to do before. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna start my Stitcher Stash project. I need to work on my sweater. Because that my next sweater update's coming up in on the 13th of May. I need to start figuring out what I'm gonna do for the summer project for the Yarny YouTube Hop. Seasonal Yarny YouTube Hop. Um I gotta start working on a project for KK Crochet's Christmas in July. She asked me to participate in that, and I would love to because I love Christmas. Um I still got a couple months to work on that. And the summer thing's not due until June. So I really need to work on my sweater <laughs> and I want to get started on my new stitcher stash. And then I, um, cause it's a new month. I was looking at the holidays coming up this month to, uh, make amigurumis for Cause I like making, um, national holiday amigurumis. It's fun. But yeah, so I'm going to put these ball bands in my stash back there. And I guess I'm going to weave in all these ends while the kids are still sleeping. And I'm probably not going to edit this video. I'm filming it. It's early in the morning right now. But I probably won't get it out until later today just cause, you know, the kids are going to wake up and I'm going to be cooking and doing family things <laughs> but and also this evening is um pokemon community no not community pokemon spotlight hour every tuesday on pokemon go for an hour it's six to seven p.m um there's like a little event where you get bonus stuff so we always go to the square in our town and we park underneath the pavilion <laughs> where the farmer's market is and then we just walk around the sidewalks there because there's sidewalks all over the place uh and pokestops and we play that for about an hour, and then we come home. So we'll be doing that this evening. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. So I guess that's everything. <laughs> I'm just blabbing. I haven't made a video. I meant to make one yesterday. I hear the baby. I gotta go. But anyways, um, I was busy yesterday and forgot. But I'm gonna hop off here and deal with her, and then weave in all these ends. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow for Whip Wednesday. Bye, guys.